Sometimes in life we get too caught up in what's going on right then and there. We never really stop to think about what's important to us. We take a lot of things for granted, and we never truly learn to appreciate something until it's gone. Many of us are guilty of putting things off for another time, but what if that other time never comes? Anything is always capable of happening at any given moment, and this is why we need to take every breath that we get for everything that it's worth. During eighth grade, over Christmas break, all I was concerned about was hanging out with my friends and what I was getting for Christmas. I had no idea that my whole life was going to change. December 27th, 2007, just two days after Christmas, was the day that changed my life from there on. This was the day that I lost my dad. While I was in my room getting ready to go to my friend Melanie's to show off all my Christmas presents, my father had passed away in his room, and I didn't even know it. He went into cardiac arrest after the lining surrounding his heart had hardened so blood could not pass through. Needless to say, it was unexpected. My mom went in their room, and all I heard was her crying. I didn't need to witness anymore. In that moment, I felt my heart drop and my knees got weak, and I couldn't stand anymore. I fell to the floor, and I remember feeling the room spinning around me. It just didn't seem real. I didn't cry all the way up to the day of the funeral when I saw him in his casket. That was by far the worst stomach-turning and heart-wrenching moment of my life. This all happened to other people. I couldn't seem to grasp that it happened to me and my family. It just couldn't seem real to me no matter how much I thought about it. My dad and I were extremely close. He was the one I always went to for advice, the one who always looked out for me and had my back, the one that spoiled me to no end just because I was his little girl. And then he was gone, before my eyes, before I knew it. I had just stayed up late the night before talking to him. He was teaching me to play pool and giving me advice on choosing the right high school for me. The last words that I ever said to him were, Thanks, Dad, good night, and I love you. This was the only thing that got me through it. I know that he passed away knowing how much I love him. It hurts to know that I lost him, but what hurts even more is that he will never get to know me. He won't ever get to know the woman that I grow to be. He won't get to see me graduate or go to college or move out. He won't be there to meet my future husband, to walk me down the aisle, or to see my children being born. I know that he is there in spirit, but nothing is like having him here. To hear his advice and have him see me grow up into the person that I feel he would be proud to say that he raised. My story is why I'm a firm believer in living for tomorrow and not taking a single breath for granted. It happens to people every single day, losing someone, somehow, somewhere. Do you want to regret your last words or actions with someone and never be able to take it back? Do you want to participate in something that might be fun at the time but could impact the rest of your life? Sudden deaths, pregnancies, jail, dropping out, all types of things can change your life. Just save yourself some regret and think about your choices today and ask yourself if you'll regret them tomorrow. Live for tomorrow and live every single breath for what it is worth so that when it's all over, you'll have no regrets, only lessons made.